So the WWE's done something the past couple of weeks that actually bothers me quite a bit. Like a lot. Maybe it shouldn't matter that much, but fundamentally it does. They've advertised Brock Lesnar on multiple Raws now, only for him to not show up. And I do not care if it is storyline, I do not care if it is legit shoot. Either way, it is completely and totally unacceptable. You're advertising a guy multiple times, and then nothing comes of it, and he's not there. Then you advertise that Ronda Rousey, mistake or not, doesn't matter. You said, WWE, that Ronda Rousey would be on every Raw on the road to WrestleMania, and that she was going to be there this past Monday night. And then, of course, she ultimately wasn't. Whether it was a mistake or not, in terms of putting that on the website and putting that information out there, doesn't matter. You're advertising people for your shows, and they're not there. That is bullshit for those that are watching on television at home, and particularly bullshit when they're bigger name, bigger headline-grabbing acts that you know there's a potential that people that are going to buy tickets to go see them live in person might actually be incentivized to go buy those tickets because they want to see those people up close and in person. This is completely, totally bullshit and totally unacceptable. WWE, stop advertising people for your shows that aren't there. And what's really ridiculous about this to me, just fundamentally from a fan standpoint, WrestleMania is the single biggest, most important wrestling show of the year, period. You can take your Wrestle Kingdom and shove it up your ass. WrestleMania, in terms of wrestling shows, is the biggest one of the year, period. Nobody else's measures up. You have cities throughout the world bid and compete for it. It's an entire week. It's a whole extravaganza. That said... What fucking possible excuse could you have for people that are going to be in headline featured attraction matches like Brock Lesnar, like Ronda Rousey, to not physically appear on every Raw, every show on the road to WrestleMania? If these people that are supposed to be your big headline featured attraction acts can't be bothered to care enough to show up every week, then why the hell would the fans care? Why the hell should they buy tickets? And why the hell should they give a crap about the road to WrestleMania? You see where this is a fundamental problem here? If you present it like it's not important enough for these people to be involved in the show in some way every single week, then the fans are going to think that it doesn't matter. Because clearly it doesn't. And it's unacceptable to me that this company is so willy-nilly about advertising both of these people. And I'm not blaming Ronda Rousey because she just got there. This is probably a mistake of scheduling and having her scheduled to appear on Ellen at the same time you're going to have Raw. Like, we couldn't have it a different day of the week, whatever. And this really just kind of fits into Brock's M.O. Because, honestly, he doesn't give that much of a fuck. He doesn't have that many fucks left to give, and he never had many fucks to give to begin with. So we can't sit there and expect him all of a sudden to really give a crap, especially when he's at the tail end of his contract. He might be gone for the company after WrestleMania. We can't sit there and expect him all of a sudden to, out of the goodness of his heart, show up to every single Raw, whether they pay him or not. But damn it all. you got to find a way, even if you know they're not physically going to be there, do something new and different other than just rehashing old video packages of crap that's already happened. And think about the fans buying tickets for these people. This whole thing about cards subject to change is bullshit. Especially if you're not offering refunds to people, and you should offer them refunds any damn ways for paying to sit there and watch these crappy shows most of the time. But cards subject to change is not a good excuse. I understand if you get some big, wide outbreak of the mumps backstage, stuff happens. Guys get injured. Stuff happens. Guys or girls have family emergencies come up. Stuff happens. That's the stuff you can't plan or prepare for. But not having them there, because in the case of Brock Lesnar, you're pathetically trying to get Roman more love because Brock doesn't care. But look at Roman. We're following the Cena Rock approach of Roman's here every fucking week, just like Cena. So we should love him because he's awesome because of that. If anything, you should love Brock Lesnar 
It all is no fucks given because he's big enough and important enough to where he doesn't have to show up every week. He's the one that's got leverage, not Roman. But there's no good excuse for not doing something fresh or different with them, even if they're not physically there. But furthermore, stop advertising them if they're not physically going to be there. And then pulling them after advertising them is a major F you to those fans that pay their hard-earned money to go see these shows live. Like imagine taking a kid, like you have a daughter, and she wants to see Ronda Rousey, and this is a big deal. And WWE happens to be in town, and Ronda Rousey's been advertising. You're like, oh, she loves Ronda Rousey. I'm going to take my six, eight-year-old daughter to go see Ronda Rousey because she's advertising. And she's not fucking there. So you got to feel for the do the mom. The dad, the family that takes the little girl there because they want to see Rhonda, and then Rhonda's not fucking there. And then they're crying and they're upset, and they should be. This is one of the fundamental things that Vince was hammering on in that self-destruction, the Ultimate Warrior DVD crap. Talking about how when Ultimate Warrior started no-showing, that was it. He just couldn't do that. You never ever do that to the audience. You don't cheat them and you don't fuck them over. Well, when you advertise people and they don't show up, that's exactly what you're doing. You're fucking the audience. It's bad enough they get screwed with the crap that this product is today. At least be honest with them. Like I can picture right now, I don't have a lot of reasons to want to go see a Raw or a SmackDown in person. Or retarded Raw, excuse me. But let's say it's here in Richmond and Rusev is billed. I'm like, I'm going to go enjoy a Rusev Day celebration. Hip, hip, hooray! And I'm thinking he's going to be there, and then he doesn't show up. Now, the one fundamental reason that I had to go to the damn show isn't there. I feel cheated. I feel gypped. I feel ripped the fuck off and lied to. And you shouldn't disrespect your fans like that, even if you feel like I deserve it. There are a lot of other good people that don't. I look at Raw. Like, if you advertise The Miz and Elias in a tag team match, like, I'm guaranteed that two of the guys actually give a crap about, hence this shirt, and hence my years of being a fan of The Miz, and talking about him being the mid-card MVP of WWE, I'm paying the ticket to go down to the crappy Richmond Coliseum to see that crappy show for the hope of seeing The Miz and Elias do something. Elias sing, Miz cut a promo, and then they work a match that they'll probably lose. And then all of a sudden that shit gets bumped and they were advertised for a dark match too and then they didn't do that. You know what I'd be doing? I'd be knocking down the fucking gorilla positions door, the fucking curtain pulling that down, demanding a goddamn refund because that's bullshit. The guys that I actually had that were the reasons for me to buy a ticket were the ones, after being advertised, they weren't there. Card subject to change my ass. How ridiculous anyways. You're heading into your biggest, most important show of the year. And some of your headline featured acts aren't there every single week. If they don't care enough, it's logical to ask, well, again, why would fans care? And if WWE doesn't care about living up to what they've advertised, and they can control it. These are not uncontrollable last second things. These are things they can live up to, things that they can control. Then why the hell should their fans care about buying tickets to see them knowing that they could potentially be getting lied to. Cut out this crap and start stop effing with the fans, WWE. Stop advertising people that aren't going to be at your damn shows.